Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can control the opacity of a texture in the patch editor so you can create an effect like this. So let's start! Hey again, so let's control the opacity of a texture here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start working here in the Spark AR Studio, make sure you have a texture you want to use for this tutorial. So I will use my um, yeah, icon and for this I just drag and drop it into the Spark AR Studio into my assets panel. So this is a PNG file, so this has also some transparency and I will show you how you can work with this. So after we have imported our texture, make sure you set the compression to none. So the next step is that we create a material for our texture. So for this I go to the assets panel, click on the plus and here create a new material. So after this material is created, I click on it, go to the right hand side, set the shader type to flat and under diffuse I select for the texture, my texture I have just imported. So now we also need an object in our scene where we can display our material. So we go to our scene and I will create a plane. You can of course also create a rectangle or a frame and control this. So, but for this tutorial, I will create a plane and then I hit insert. So now we just have to set the right material for the plane. So select the plane in the scene, go on the right hand side and then here at material, click on the plus and select the material you have just created. So now we have this in the middle of our screen. I will just yeah, scale it a little bit up. So I select it and set the scale, let's say to yeah, two for X, Y, and yeah, we can also set it for Z, but it will not change anything. So I'm still here, but just behind my texture. And now we can start programming the filter here in the patch editor. The first thing we have to do is that we go to our assets panel, go to the texture and then we have to drag and drop our texture into the patch editor. Then we will get this orange patch in our patch editor. The next thing is that we go to our material in our assets panel, go on the right hand side and then go down to diffuse and next to texture here you can find a little arrow. Just click on it and then you will get this yellow patch in your patch editor. So now we need some patches in between those two patches. The first patch we have to add is an unpack patch. So yeah, just search for it and then add this patch. And then just connect the RGBA output of the texture patch with the value input of the unpack patch. The next patch we need is a pack patch. So yeah, just search for it and then also click on add patch. So now here it is important that when you click on the pack patch in your patch editor that you set here the vector free thing to vector Four. So now you have one more input and this is really important. So now we can just connect the outputs of the unpack patch with the inputs of the pack patch. So just the X output goes into the first of the pack patch, the Y into the second and the Z into the third input of the pack patch. And now when we connect the output of our pack patch with the input of the diffuse texture of the material patch, this thing will disappear. So, because the opacity is set to zero. And yeah, this is the fourth, fourth value of our pack patch. So when we set this value to let's say one, we have our um, yeah, opacity to one. And when we set it to 0 0.5, we have it set to 50%. So, but as you already noticed, we have now a black border around our PNG file. Now we have to get rid of this and this is pretty simple. Just go to your assets panel, click on the material, go to the right hand side and then activate the alpha channel. And here at the alpha just select as the texture the same texture as you have um, yeah, set, it, set the, text, the material to. So and now the black border is gone. So now we you can play around with the value here at the pack patch, but we want to control the 
the value of this. So when we tap on the screen, the, the icon should yeah, fade in. So for this, we have to create an animation. So we need, of course, an animation patch. Just search for it and insert it. So now we need something to trigger the animation patch. I will trigger this with a screen tab. So I search for a screen tab patch. But of course, you can control it with any interaction you want. So now I just connect the gesture state output of the screen tab patch with the play input of the animation patch. After we have done this, we can connect the progress of the animation patch, which gives a value between zero and one. So at first it is a zero. And then when we tap on it, it needs um, one second that it um, yeah, went to goes to one. So when we connect this, this will disappear. And now we can just test it. So I will go, I will set my simulator to simulate touch. And when I tap on the screen here, the logo is um, yeah, fading in. So yeah, just restart the filter. Now we can set the duration of the animation to two. And now we can click this again and it is fading in much slower so of course you can turn around this so it is here at the beginning and when you tap on it it disappears just have to play around here with the setting of the animation patch so yeah i hope this tutorial was helpful for you and now you know how to yeah control the opacity um, with the patch editor here in the spark ar studio if the video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.